Try to solve another little problem, 755, power water. I think the difficult part of the problem is that uh, we don't understand the problem. So let's first understand the problem. Then we're going to use a simulation to solve the problem. So the simulation idea is just to, to understand the problem. And according to the description, we just simulate the problem. Yeah. Now let's just check this problem. So according to the example, uh, the volume it means uh, how many drops of the water. So for each of drop of the water, it will just go to. So for example, so so if this is a flat, so for the first drop of the water, so this water will go to the left side to check if there's some lower uh, field. If there's a lower field, so the water will be dropped here. Yeah. So this is gonna be the water. So if there's a no lower field at the left side and there's no lower field at the right side, so the water is gonna stay here. Yeah. So this is the difficult part. Uh, let's just try to maybe use uh, another example. So currently, I have a water. This is a water drop. Uh, this is the right side and this is the left side. So if here goes down, there's something. So the water will first drop here. Yeah. So it's gonna be here. Because if it go to the left side, this is lower, it's going to drop here. So maybe here, here is higher. Yeah. So this is for the left side, and this is the right side. So this is the first drop of water. And then it go to the second drop. Yeah. So this one going to disappear, and then we're going to have a second drop of water. So the water is going to fill here. Yeah, because this is lower. Yeah. Now for the next drop, so the water is going to be here. And for the next drop, the water is going to be here. And then for the next drop, if it go to the left, there's nothing to drop. And for the right side, we're going to drop one here, and then drop one here. And then if we drop another water, for the left side, there's nothing. And for the right side, there's nothing. We can um, drop the water. So the water is going to stay here. Yeah. So this is the um, idea of this question. It's like in the real life, it is like that. Only the difference is that the water first go to the left and then go to the right to find something. If it is lower, it's gonna drop down. It's gonna drop here. Yeah. So let's just check this example. Uh, so currently, uh, this k equal to three. This means this is the position. So the water gonna first drop here. Uh, let me use uh, another color, uh, like blue. So the water gonna drop here. Yeah. Now we're gonna continue. So if we go to the next one. So the water from here is gonna go to the left side because it is lower, so it's gonna be stay here. Yeah. But the water would to go to the left side if there's some lower field, but there's no lower field, so the water gonna stay here. So if there's a lower field, maybe here is uh, empty, so the water gonna drop here. Yeah. But currently it is no, so the water gonna be keep keep in this position. I think this is the difficult part of the problem. Maybe you think why the water cannot go to here? Why it is only stay here? Yeah, this is only the question, the difficult part of the problem. So the water gonna stay here, because if it, it were to go to the left side, it must find something which is lower than this prison, but there's no. So the water gonna stay here. Yeah. So for the next one, so the water first uh, gonna be uh, here, and then go to the left as there's water, and then go to the left as it is lower, so the water gonna be here. Yeah. And uh, next, so the water gonna drop here. And the next water gonna stay here because for the left side it is a flat and for the right side it is a flat. There's nothing lower than the current level, so the water gonna stay here. Yeah. So this is the first example. We just need to return uh, this kind of uh, array after getting the water drop. Yeah. Now let's go to the uh, next one. So for the second example, there's no drawing, but uh, uh, the idea is gonna be the same, and even for the third example. Now we are going to use a simulation idea to solve the problem. Yeah. First of all, um, we just need to check um, what is the length of the heat array. Now we are going to check how many drops do we have. So for um, underscore uh, in range um, volume. So this is going to be the first drop, but the water can go to two directions, go to the left and go to the right. So we need to check the two directions. So let's use uh, d as a direction. So for d in minus one, it means it go to the left, and uh, positive one, it means it go to the right right side. Yeah. But before that, we need to 
check the original position of the water. So we're going to use uh, index i, it's going to be equal to k, and the position going to also equal to k. And this is very important. Uh, we needed to know from the beginning where is our position. And this i equals to k, this means uh, this i will go to the left side first and then it go to the right side. And this position just needed to record where the water drop going to locate. Yeah, so this is just the position. And now uh, we are going to check uh, while this uh, i plus d, d means the direction. If it could go to the left side, so i minus 1, it means it goes to the left side. But it is still inside of the boundary. So if it's inside of the boundary, and we're going to check the height. So if height i plus d less than, so the condition is if it is less than the current height. So it is the hit i. So if it go to the left side, if the if the hit to the left side is equal to the current hit, it means this water will go to the next position to find a lower position. Maybe there's a lower position. Yeah. So we need to record the position. So if this hit i plus d is less than the hit, we just want to check this position. Now we need to record the position. So where the position would be, it's going to be i plus d because it is lower. So otherwise, uh, for the while loop, if uh, this one, the height at the left side, it is less than or equal to the height i, so we're going to update d. So i going to plus equal to d. Yeah. And similarly, for the right side, we just need 2 plus 1. And for the left side, this i just need 2 minus 1. Yeah. So in this way, we just simulate the left side and the on right side. Now, uh, we have this kind of prison, and we have this, uh, yeah, this prison, we're going to check if this prison equals to k or not, because from the beginning, this prison equals to k. Now, uh, we need to check, so if prison not equal to k. So this means uh, there must be some prison except k, we can drop the water. So we need to update the height. So the height prison going to plus equal to 1. And also, we need to set a flag. I'm going to use a find. So this means I find a water can drop except the position of k. Yeah. So find is going to be um, true. So from the beginning, uh, this find means if I can find somewhere to drop at the left side or at the right side. So from the beginning, I'm going to set it to false. If I can find some place, maybe at the left side or at the right side, if it is not equal to k, so this means the fight is going to be equal to true. So if I can find it, so I'm going to break the loop immediately. So the here the loop is just the left side and the right side. So if at the left side I find a, a place where I can drop, so I'm going to stop it immediately. Yeah, I'm going to... Uh, yeah, so I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to st stop it immediately. I don't need to check the right side. So I'm going to stop it immediately. Now, I want to, after the two directions, if the find is still false, it means uh, there's nowhere to drop at the left side or at the right side. So this means uh, uh, my height is going to be uh, height position going to plus equal to 1. Yeah, this means, uh, this means the position must equal to k. Yeah, because if I can find it, if it is not equal to k, the find is going to be true. Otherwise, the file is going to still be false. This means, this means it's going to still be here yeah, at this place. It cannot go to the left side, and it cannot go to the right side as well. So after update the um, position, I think uh, uh, that's going to be yeah, that's going to be everything for the problem. So I just need to uh, update the uh, position. And finally, I need to return the height array. Yeah, I think this, this is going to be the whole problem. First of all, uh, we're going to check each drop of the water. And for each drop of water, we're going to record the index i. This index i means it will go to the left and go to the right. This prison just needs to record where I need to drop. Only if the height i plus d less than the current height. So the current height is height i. Yeah. Maybe this i is here, i plus d is going to be here, maybe i is here, and i plus d may be here, or maybe, yeah, at the right side. 
So it is going to be his i. And then I'm going to update the prison. It's going to be i plus b. Yeah. Let me just run it to check if it works. As you can see, it works. Now let me just submit it to check if it can pass. As you can see, it passed all testing cases. And it's pretty fast um, because the time complexity uh, it's just a simulation. So the time complexity is dependent on uh, how many drops of water do we have. And this P is just a prediction, it doesn't matter. No matter where it is, it always is dependent on the volume of water. So the volume of the water, uh, let's check the value. Maybe uh, this is a V. And then we're going to check length of the height. It's just another value. So the time complexity is going to be H times V. Now let's check the value. So the A is going to be 100 and V is going to be 2000. So this is going to be the time complexity. It is a 2000 times 100. It is a 2 times 10 to the power of 5. That is why it is so fast. Thank you for watching. See you next time.